In this video, we'll look at how to make a line graph in Google Sheets. A line graph is really appropriate here because we're using it for connected data. That is, the data flows from year to year. You wouldn't want to use it on something like, what's your favorite fruit? Because each category is separate. It doesn't flow from one to another. But this data is connected year by year, so a line graph is a good choice. Just before we go to make our graph, just a reminder here, you shouldn't have any letters here. If you put the meters in here, it can sometimes mess up your graphs. So make sure your data is just numbers. And then we highlight our data and we go insert chart. Sometimes you get the chart you want right away, which is what we've got here. But just before I get to the nest of the instructions, instruction number two says, when you click off this, that chart editor disappears to get it back just right click data range and then number three says choose the chart type you want in this case we already had what we wanted line chart we can choose it again but it's already chosen number four you can go to customize and try changing up some stuff in chart style for example you can change the background color you could change the font to one of these fonts, maybe Roboto. And the border color even, you could change it. Whatever you think looks good. You could try Smooth. I don't like what Smooth does. It makes the graph a little bit misleading to me. I also don't like Maximize, but some of you might. Those are some of the options in Chart Style you might use. You can also look at Chart and Axis Titles. Here's where you can change the title i would probably change it to height versus year take out that meters part you can change the font as well make it a different font maybe even a different size bold it right now this is changing just the vertical axis title uh, it's a little bit small maybe i'll make it a bit bigger you can also change the horizontal axis title i don't know why you'd want to make those different fonts but you could and make it a bit bigger if you want it. Change the color if you want it. And then you could choose the title. And I'm not sure I like that in gray. So let's change that. Well, first make it a little bit bigger. 20 didn't really seem to change it. How about 30? There we go. And change its color. How about a nice blue? Maybe bold it. And finally, besides the horizontal, vertical axes and the title, you can add a subtitle. Maybe here you put something about the data. Maybe this is the height of a tree. Whatever subtitle you'd like can be placed in there. And that appears right below. And again, you can change the color, the font, etc. With series, you can change the line color. Maybe you don't like the blue line. Make it a red line, for example. You can make the line opaque, almost invisible. Or you can make it, I like maybe 70 doesn't matter it's what your personal preference is contains the formatting of the line and even its thickness make it a little thicker you can try changing point size i don't really like how the points look there i'd rather just have the line shape but you could put them if you like them and you can change from circles to triangles oh can't quite see my points with a thick line here i'll make the line a little less thick so lots of options there for you to customize under this series title. You could also go down to the horizontal axis. And here's where, again, you could play around with the font and make it a little different color if you'd like or a different size. Lots of options here. You might also try slant labels. If that's something you think looks good, you can make the label slant to a different angle. Very similar stuff applies to the vertical axis. I'm now on number eight here, vertical axis. Again, lets you modify this side here where you can change the font and change its size, change the color. Except now, sorry, we're not doing the axis title. We're doing the labels here. Change them as you like, show the axis line. There's some nice stuff there. You can also try changing the min and max if you think, hmm, why does it go up to here? Maybe I want to zoom in a little bit. Be careful because that can be biased, but maybe we'll go as low as 10 and as high as 35 instead for a little bit more zoomed in. 
Again, be careful because that can create bias when you zoom in on a graph. And then the last thing we want to look at here is these grid lines and ticks. So come down here. Again, I went off my graph, so I just went right click data range and customize grid lines and ticks. And you can change the horizontal axis or the vertical axis. You can add in minor grid lines. You can add ticks. You can change the colors of the grid lines. That looks bad orange on orange. And you decide here, maybe I'll make my major grid lines also the same color. And you can change how often those counts happen. So there's a lot of options to play here with major ticks and minor ticks and the grid lines, how often you want them, changing their count of how often they occur. And you can go from horizontal axis to vertical axis and also change where you get those lines. Oh, that's not good. I didn't like that. Let's undo that auto. So lots of options to play with there. And that's how you make a basic line graph with a lot of options to make it prettier.